In this video, I'm going to start off with audio differential equation for the water tank that was given in part four of four on trans functions, and I'm going to convert this into the transfer function form. So just to kind of familiarize yourself with this equation, so F subscript in of T is effectively the flow into the tank. A is the area of the tank. D H of T over DT, so effectively the rate of change of the height of the tank, so H of T is the height, check change of the height. Rho here is the density of fluid in the tank, G is the gravitational constant, and R is the restriction, so the restriction effectively in this kind of use this outlet here for the flow out. So again, H of T here is just the changing of the height. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, stage one is to undertake the Laplace transformation. So if we're using effectively the rules or the rule given by equation 2, 2 for the first derivative, because this is a first order audio differential equation, so we just need to apply this rule. And if you're unfamiliar with that, watch part two of four of the video on trans functions and that will make more sense. So if we're looking at this equation, so let's first of all just use this equation um, here. So d h t over dt. Okay, is pretty much this equation here. The only slight no difference is the notation I use here is h of t. Here it's y of t. Okay, so in the general form of the notation in the introduction trans functions, I use y for output and I use u for input. So the transformation of this is simply given by, so d by dt, you can see there, d by dt, is effectively just going to become s. So you can see here s. You've got the a here, so this coefficient here for area. And then h of t here, the transformation of that, so what, like y of t becomes y of s, capital Y of s, lowercase h of t becomes uppercase h of s. f subscript i n of t just becomes capital F subscript i n for in of s, okay? So you just simply capital the f and then of s. This term here, so here, this row gravitational constant and the R for the restriction just remains as it is. And H of T here just becomes capital H of S. So what you'll notice if you've watched any of the previous examples or if you went through the series of videos that I initially did, so the, the four videos on the trans functions, you'll start to get familiar with the processes that I'm going through here now because the form and the transformation between these is very much the same. So what you'll notice here is H of S is common to both sides. So what I can do or common to both terms there. So I can move that outside the brackets, I'll put a brackets here, move it outside, and then simplify the equation. And what you'll start to notice is the reason why I've done that is because then that is a nice starting point to then move on to stage two, which is the transfer function. So rearranging this equation here, because if you recall, the Laplace transformation and now enables us to use effectively formal rules of algebra to algebraically manipulate that equation into the form that is known as the transfer function, and that is given by equation 2, 5, if you look at the video, part 3 or 4 of the video, on transfer functions. So quite simply, we can just rearrange this into the form that we want, so output over input. In this case, the output is the height of the tank, so HS, and the input is just this uh, F subscript in of S. So first of all, if we multiply by 1 over AS plus rho G over R, so we multiply that, this equation here by that, what we'll end up is, is this equation here. So end up with flow in over that um, lump term that I just said is equal to H of S. Because we want it in the form of obviously output over input, so we've got output here is equal to input over then the system coefficients. What we can do now is just cross multiply by 1 over F subscript in. And if we do that, then that'll put it into the form given effectively by the equation here. So H of S is e um, over um, flow in of S is equal to now 1 over AS plus rho GR. So that there is your form of transfer function. And you, what you'll notice, as I said previously, the, the method to use to pretty much to go from the ordinary difference equation to stage one, which is the Laplace transformation, to stage two, which is the trans function, is very much always very common, it's very much the same. -y. The only difference is the notation that's used, and the notation in this case, in the cases that I'm showing, is very much dependent on the system 
or the process or the actuator or, or whatever it is we're modeling that we're looking at. In this case, we're looking at a process, we're looking at water tanks. So I've used the notation here, G subscript P for process of S. So that there is your trans function. And what I can do is put it into block diagram form here. So you can see G, G subscript P for process of S is given by this here. And then the, the input is the flow in and the output is the height of the tank. So I hope this video has been useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.